check with operations that the mill has been through the correct flushing cycle. Isolate and lock out the ISA mill motor and the feed pump motor, as well as the gland sealed water and the gland flushing water supplies. Activate the mill's scuttle valve and empty the remaining contents, if any, into the media hopper. Disconnect the mill feed line, flush water line, valve air line and instrument connections. Unbolt the mill slurry feed pipe and swing or lift the pipeline assembly away. Move the hydraulic power pack to the mill adjacent to the quick release hydraulic connections. Connect the hydraulic power pack hoses to the mill. Remove the drive and flange bolts. Ensure that all personnel stand clear of the ISA mill shell. Once everyone is clear of the area, it's safe to open up the ISA mill shell. Once the shell is open, install the safety pin. Pull the shell away from the drive and flange with the hydraulic power pack and give the mill internals a thorough hosing if required. Inspect the mill internal components and record component dimensions on the routine maintenance inspection sheet. Record the measurements of the shell liner as detailed on the IMIS. Measure and record the minimum rubber thicknesses of the flange liners. Inspect the rotor and discharge ring for wear. If the shell liner wear dictates, then rotate or replace the shell liner as required. Measure grinding disc dimensions and record by marking dimensions on the discs and in the log sheet. Replace discs that are worn beyond the point of reuse. The disc hubs must be removed from any discs that are replaced. It's good practice to prepare new discs with the removed hubs before the next maintenance opportunity. Rotate the position of worn discs that can be reused. For example, Disc number X will be replaced. Disc number Y will be reinstalled and into position Z. Take a full photographic record of all wear components. Close the ISA mill shell using the hydraulic power pack. Uncouple the hydraulic cylinders from the shell and retract the cylinders fully. Store the power pack as per the procedure. Reconnect the flushing water line Lift the inlet pipe assembly into place and bolt it to the mill. Connect the airline and instrument cables. And finally, remove the isolations from the various services. The inspection involves establishing checks and measurements of all isomill parts to interpret the wear and functionality of all the individual parts.